I guess I'll start by asking y'all a question. And this first question is, talk about your basketball career and how it led you to where you are now. My first time playing basketball, I remember me and my mom were riding past a little park and they had like the sign for basketball tryouts. And I never had played basketball before in my life, like not even on the street, but I was just like, mom, can I go? And she brought me one day and I went and I sucked. And I was the biggest thing out there with sweatpants on at a basketball practice. But I always knew I wanted to play college basketball after that point. I remember watching UConn, Baylor, like those bigger schools then and just being like, oh, I can, I, can, I can do that, and I want to be just like them. I don't really remember my first time playing basketball. I just remember my dad coached the YMCA team. It was like boys and girls. So I played because he was coaching, and my sister also played. So I mean, at the time, you know, she's older, so you want to be like your big sister. As time went on in junior high, middle school, that's when it got serious, like playing travel basketball, and I was like, okay, could be kind of good and like maybe make something out of it and it was fun and my whole family played so I mean I just want to be like them so it just ended up being fun and I ended up loving it so. I actually started off in dance which is crazy right but uh, obviously that didn't work out for me I didn't want to do that uh, so I just picked up the basketball and I started co-ed so I played with with my brother and my cousin they're around the same age as me and from after that it took off and so I just stayed with it, kind of the route Kayla took, the bitty ball, the rec ball, the AAU, um, all the way up until high school. And that's when I, I started realizing I can actually make something out of this. And that's what happened for me. So. I love it. I mean, I'm over here on the sidelines watching your family just like go wild yeah, on the they, sidelines. They so obviously they've been through this journey with you the whole time, which is really cool. So I know that all of you and Moon, you joining, you know, the Tulane family, which is awesome. Uh, y'all decided to stay for a fifth year. So y'all tell me a little bit about like, why did you make that decision? Why was it so important for you to stay and what that means to you and even to your teammates if they share that? Like we won a championship and we owe it to Coach Stockton. Like she gave us this opportunity. Um, she pushes us every day and we work hard for her. And so I think coming back was, was for her as well. Um, we love her so much and we just want to give her a championship and a great season this year. It's a little different for me. Uh, obviously, I wasn't here for four years, but um, I heard that all these girls were staying. And, and for me, that was special. I mean, that's a lot of schools, you, you know, if you have another year, a lot of people hopped in the transfer portal, me being one. And um, I just knew this group was special, that everybody stayed. And uh, just having a relationship with Coach Stockton, I always wanted to be a part of her program. And uh, this last year gave me the opportunity to do so. Again, uh, the girls made my, my decision for me. Knowing that they were all coming back, I'm like, that's crazy. That's a special team and I want to be a part of it. What would be a message that you would want to share with people just about your experience um, of playing with your teammates, playing for Coach Stockton, getting to know one another? Just don't be so into yourself where you let your teammates down and you see your teammates fail, but you just worried about yourself. like. Basketball isn't just about basketball. It's about creating a better a better you and finding that family. Like a lot of people say like college basketball is business, like you're just trying to get to the next level or trying to get your degree, but it's not always business. It can be fun and you can also find a group of girls that you'll love for a lifetime. Being here allowed us to go to a lot of places we would have never gone before, like Denver, I wouldn't have even thought about going to Denver before we went there, you know, Puerto Rico. Never been out of the South until I came here, so that was a really good experience. I saw y'all going down that slope. I was a little scared for y'all. That was scary. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. laughs> no, y'all gotta see the videos, because uh, she... <laughs> I, it's the same video that I was looking at, unless I need to look at the ones that y'all recorded from your phones, but that, there's another one. Okay, I'm ready. Y'all just show me whenever. Just don't play with video. Don't play with, don't, okay. No sound. Why? Because I'm screaming. Sound. <laughs> yes, I don't know. <laughs> Got it. Good to know. <laughs>